Hi, I'm currently working on a scene um, also using video mocap. So it's also from uh, The Matrix. Um, so it's the scene where Neo and Smith fight each other. I've mocapped it. I've also blocked it off so I can get each one individually. This is not perfect mocap um, situation or, mo or what I want mocap. I want to feed as well. But I gave it a try as well. Didn't come out too bad. So I'm busy working on that. Um, so with the video mocap, uh, it, when you do it, you will notice that your hands are always open. Uh, so this one's already closed. And this is the character I'm actually going to work on. So you can see he's fighting with his closed fists. But these hands that we mocapped are open. Um, so I just want to show you an easy way how to fix this. So to fix this or to close these hands, uh, we need to do it first. So uh, first we go on our um, auto posing. We go on hands and we just close his hand. Wrong one. Click on right one and we close his hand. Um, so in this case, the thumb wasn't uh, is not on auto posing, so we just press Shift Z. Uh, so we have both these Shift Z, and now it's closed with auto posing. Uh, let's see if we're happy with the first. Uh, you know what? I am, I am happy with that first. Okay. So I want this first to go through all these keyframes. Otherwise, I have to do each one individually, and which I have been doing because uh, I was too lazy to learn a new way how to do it. But after some research and a handy tutorial on Cascader's site, uh, we can do it. We can fix it now. So we click on our box controller. This is what I want my hand to look like for all this, all the scenes. Uh, we double click here, highlight the whole thing, press Control C. Make sure uh, we are on local mode. And now we highlight all the frames we want the fist to be closed. So I'm going to highlight all my frames here. All highlighters. I just want to get to a keyframe where the hand is open. Uh, so there. And then we press Control uh, Alt V. And there it's closed. And we just do a quick scrub through here. And we can see that hand is closed. And then we can do also the same thing for this hand. So I'm just going to fix this hand too. It's going to go back to uh, auto posing. Click on hand. Oops, auto posing. Auto posing. Uh, click on hand. I'm going to shift Z these thumbs. So it's also an auto posing. I'm going to close this hand. Oh, let me actually just go here. I'm going to close this hand. Let's take a look. That looks good. So uh, again, I want uh, this close hand to translate on the whole animation. So I go to my box controller, double click here on the wrist, make sure it's all highlighted, the fingers and the wrist, press Control C, highlight my whole interval I wanted, uh, my whole interval um, where I want this um, pose to be translated to. Um, so I just like to go on a random keyframe to see if it does work. And I want to translate it into uh, onto that hand. And I am in local mode. And then I again I press Control Alt V. And that hand is closed. And it's gonna translate for let me just the whole scene. So now instead of going to each single keyframe and closing those hands, it's done it for me in maybe under a minute. So yeah, just something I thought I would point out. Yeah, and this is a scene I'm also working on. And so you should see more of this on some other time. That's another point. Yeah, I hope it helps.